Hi everybody, welcome to another show. First of all, can anybody who's in the chat, can you just tell me if the volume's working because it's uh, it seems to be going up and down quite a lot and I'm not sure what sound it's picking up at the moment. So if you could just pop me a message in the chat and let me know if it sounds okay or if it's a bit weird. Hi Vicky, welcome. Oh excellent, that's great. Thanks very much. Hi Donna, welcome everyone. Right, so today, well this week we're meant to be working on animals and um, yesterday was a horrible day, it was really cloudy, rainy and a bit chilly and windy so um, I thought I would not do an animal painting yesterday and do a nice warm cup of tea so I did that. So just a reminder. I've still got to do the paint the edges black, but that was yesterday's. So back to the animal theme today, and I was thinking of actually doing a painting of this rabbit sketch that I did a while back. Um, it came out really well. I used um, markers and um, ink pen, so um, I think I might sketch that out. But I'm just, just trying to decide whether to do it on. This canvas that I've got is quite a chunky one. I think it's a six by six um, birch plywood canvas. That's the biggest one I've got at the moment other than canvas board. Um, or I've got this four by four. So um, what do you guys think? Should I do it on the big one or the smaller one today? I've actually got my um, camera set up better this time so once we get started I'll move it into position and um, you'll be able to see a lot clearer Bigger one, okay. You can see that I actually did sketch out something else on there, but I decided that um, that was a while back, so I'm going to draw over the top of that one and see if I can rub it out a bit more. Of course, you could gesso over this, but I don't actually have any white gesso at the moment. We'll just see how we go. Adjust the camera. So, how are you, ladies, today? What's the weather like where you are? It's actually turned sunny now, but it was pretty cloudy and windy like yesterday earlier on a bit chilly oh what are you working on Vaughn? gorgeous here 
Doing good. Hi Scrap Chick. Sun wants to come out. <laughs> Aww. Where are you all from? You all in the US? Try and get the placement right first for this little fellow. I might go a bit quiet, ladies, while I'm trying to concentrate on sketching out. Feel free to keep chatting in the chat room, and if you've got any art questions for me. I'll be occasionally looking up to uh, have a look and I'm um, happy to answer your questions if I can. This one's a bit more detailed for me. I'm normally working much smaller and much simpler, so I have to pay more attention to sketching this out properly. And of course, it probably will come out slightly different to the original sketch. I need to fit it on the canvas properly. I should have probably started more lower down. Oh, hi Colleen. Yeah, I'm still trying to get to know everybody's names. Might take me a little while. <laughs> Maybe I should have sketched this out before going like that. Probably would have been smart. Never mind. You ladies don't mind, do you? <laughs> Waiting while I sketch it out properly. Anybody else drawing today? Or painting? Normally my sketches are very simple when I do them before painting and usually put in all the details um, with paint, which I will in this case, but I need to get this sketch right as it's um, the focal point of the actual painting. It's more important to get the shapes right before we start painting.
some grasses up here. Maybe shadow along here. Sorry guys, if you can hear my husband chatting on the phone downstairs, he's uh, he always talks quite loud on the phone. <laughs> he's working from home today. It's not quite vertical. I've got a um, art board. It's supposed to help with not getting neck strain instead of working flat. So that's why it's up like that. You're working on ATCs for swap. Well, that sounds like fun. We coloured for two days straight. Wow. Is that with pencils? Are you working on more portraits, Donna? Clean up the house would rather be arting, yes. <laughs> oh, hi, Lisa. Oh, that's good for you. <laughs> you just hear me, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. Copics, all oh, right, excellent. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to see as um, I get painting, it will stand out a lot more. Um, it's a little bit confusing with the other sketch in the background. Sorry about that, guys. few adjustments on the head and the ears. This is the stage that always looks a little strange. And sort of first few layers or first layer of paint as well. But it all starts to come together once you add in the shading and the highlight. It's amazing how just one little line can totally change the face if you're doing portraits or anything, um, animals. A few little lines in the wrong place can really, really change things. needs to come out a little bit more. The actual original sketch was drawn from a photo reference from the internet. No, 
nice big fluffy tail. It's sort of like an easel, it actually sits up on the table and it's um, got like a bit of the back to prop it up at whichever angle that you want. Um, and uh, yeah, it just helps to prop, prop it up better so that you're not straining your neck all the time looking down. So. I think I'm going to go and get the background um, and the grass in and then we can see the shape better and see if I need to make any adjustments so I'm trying with my big brush and rinse that out a bit So I'm going to be using sky blue. Oh great, thanks Vicky. Yeah, I'm trying to get it in a position where it's a lot easier for you to see what I'm doing. So I've got it on a kind of a stick so, so that you can see it a lot easier. Sorry to hear that Vaughn. At least you can steal my cart though, so that's really good. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I used to have bunny pets as well. Hi, Metwife and Chick too. Sandy and Teresa, right? I have to try and remember that. <laughs> Thanks. We're, uh, Working from this original sketch that I did a little while ago, not today, but and uh, gonna paint him and see, see, oops, see how he comes out. So I'm just gonna, I've done the sketch and I think it might need a couple of little adjustments, but I'm gonna go in and put the sky in and the um, grass so that I can just see a lot easier what um, needs to be changed. So. I'm going to need to shake my paint a bit more. I think I'm going to have to start getting lamps as well, ladies. It's a bit dark. You start with a base coat of blue and then I'm going to add in some clouds. Um after the second layer. Alright, I'll have to try that, thanks. 
Yeah, I need to. Uh, I have got a um, daylight lamp downstairs. Typically downstairs, so um, I'll have to try that next time and see see if that makes a difference, so you can uh, see even better. It's always uh, tweaking the setup to try and get it so that it's um, really good for you guys. I want you to be able to see clearly what I'm doing. That's better, we can see him a bit better now. And I'm just going to put in some grass. The sky will be a lot lighter by the time I've finished. At least that brings out the shape of him and we can see a bit more what we're doing. So I think I'm going to go in with leaf green to begin with. And then I might lighten it up. I might lighten it up afterwards. Can you guys hear the wind howling at the window? It's pretty loud here. <laughs> Thanks, Juan. <laughs> That's good then. It doesn't pick up outside sound. That's good. I've actually got a clip on LED light, actually. I think I'm just going to go grab that in the other room and see if that helps brighten things up a bit. I'll be right back, guys. see how I can click this on. <laughs> it's going to make the camera go down now. How's that? That's a bit better. It's a bit brighter. I nearly forgot I've got a cup of tea sitting here as well while I paint with you. So, how many of you are actually doing art while watching me today? I know some of you said you were working on things. Some of you are just watching, which is great. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Helps it to stand out a lot more.
I think he's okay I think he just looks a little bit weird because he's not painted in yet and you can see a few lines from the other sketch so I'm gonna go and fill him in with um let me see what color I think I might go for an off-white color I think I'm going to go and fill him in first of all with this linen colour. <laughs> Great, that's good. That's good to know. Let's hope the batteries don't run out. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to fill him in just with this linen colour. This is quite thick, this particular one. so. We'll see how well that lays down, just so we get a nice base and outline of his shape, and then we can add in detail. This should be fairly dry now. The good thing with acrylics is if you do make a mistake, you can just paint over it, so that's fine. I might as well do his little tail this colour as well. It will be white in the end, but let's just block the whole of him in in this light colour first. Just gives it a good base to work on. Helps the other colours that I lay down next stand out. It's actually hubby's birthday today so we went out for lunch today um, to the local cafe it was very nice enjoyed that he had his presents this morning it was good he was working from home today so I could give him his presents before he started his work and and then tonight I'm going to see my parents and you get more, more presents off them and mum's made him a coffee and walnut tray bake cake so he's got those to look forward to and then he's going out to play snooker with his mate so <laughs> he'll have a good day today good old mum making us a cake so I'm waiting for my new kitchen to go in at the end of the summer We've had a grotty kitchen ever since we moved in here um, about seven years ago and we finally get to decorate it how we want so that's all happening this summer so that's really exciting and uh, once that's done I'll be able to get back to baking which I really enjoy. I'm going to have a larder cupboard so I can put all my ingredients in there and um, be sort of organised and I need to get myself some new baking trays as well so I can make different things so that will be something to look forward to as well
thank you for the birthday wishes. I shall pass them on to him. <laughs> yes, I'm in the UK. Yeah, mums are great. Yeah, it's really exciting. It's going to completely transform the space down there because it's basically an extension on the house and um, it's one long area across the back of the house and so we're going to divide it up into the kitchen, a seat, an area and a downstairs toilet so that will totally transform it and it'll look really really nice so it's all very very exciting lots of planning has been going into it <laughs> so I'm now going to whiz over it with the heat gun just quickly to settle that and then um, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to finish the background first and then we'll get working on the details of the rabbit in the waiting many years we rented a property before well a flat actually before we um, moved here it's a ground floor fat, flat and we didn't have a garden and everything had to be the landlord's taste pretty much so um, this is the first house we've got to really decorate how we want so we're gradually working our way through it we just completed the bathroom and that turned out really lovely so um, that's a real real treat and uh, now I get to do the kitchen so it's very exciting so I get the green out of my brush so we don't want a green green sky <laughs> <laughs> yeah cooking can be annoying sometimes by the time you get to the end of the day and you need to cook for everybody it's um sometimes a bit of a a bit of a hassle I must admit I do like cooking for people but the daily cooking is uh, a bit annoying sometimes <laughs> especially trying to think what to cook different things each time and um, by the time we've walked our dog Ellie and then have to make up my mind what I'm going to cook it's uh, don't really feel like it to be honest <laughs> but I do my best I try to do healthy things most days but you know some days we end up getting takeaway and sometimes I end up doing something quick so just going to turn it round so I can reach this side better being left handed is a bit awkward sometimes Oh. 
There's lots of little bits in this paint, which is really annoying. I think it's time to buy some new ones. <laughs> I'm still trying to find a supplier actually for this one, um, Anita's, Anita's um, All Purpose Acrylic in Country Blue. Can't seem to find anywhere that does that, it's really nice light blue and I'm almost out. So uh, I need to keep hunting for that one. I don't know if you ladies saw my post in the group earlier um, but I'm thinking of doing an online open studio soon basically that would mean probably um, doing a Ustream and um, posting to Facebook on my business page um, normally when I've had this sort of kind of event I've just posted pictures to my Facebook page but I think I'm going to do it um, as a live stream now that I've got this up and running so um, basically what I was hoping to do was invite everybody who's not local and um, be streaming obviously and share with you the remaining paintings that I've got for my 100 days of paintings project and also my cards and prints and um, that would give people an opportunity to purchase anything um, that way and you'd get a better idea of what they actually look like. Um, since you're not local and couldn't actually come to the proper open studios so um, if you think that this is something you'd be interested in attending I'd really appreciate it if you let me know and um, what sort of day time would be a good good idea because I really want people from over all over the world to be able to attend um, since they don't get to come to the in-person one that I do each year and it would be quite fun to do one at Christmas as well really um, I obviously do an in person one at Christmas and that's usually very good um, lots of people come to that one so um, maybe I should do an online one as well so what do you think ladies? Before this dries, I need to get some white in here for the clouds and then I can have a look and see what you're saying in the chat. lighten this area up a bit so it's not so solid right let's finish up my cup of tea Oh, that's difficult when people don't like the same food so do you have to cook something different for everybody that would be difficult I'm pretty lucky my husband will eat pretty much anything so <laughs> we tend to have the same things oh homemade cookies yeah they smell good Great, sounds like you'd be interested. So, um, any particular day or time?
I'm going to lighten the gra grass up with this avocado acrylic paint. I think that's a really nice light green um, that makes uh, it stand out really nice. So I'm just going to go over this. I'm going to add more texture into the grass area by putting some grasses up here and there and adding in some shading as well to give it more interest. At the moment it looks quite flat and boring but I'll add in the details and it will really bring it to life. I've been thinking about adding my greetings cards to the website. I think on my last stream I showed some of the cards and postcards that I have available. I did used to have them on my Etsy shop and I've got the odd one on the website at the moment. Um, what are your thoughts about buying cards online? Would you guys buy cards from a store that's not in the US that you would have to pay a little bit um, more shipping for or is that something that would put you off just basically trying to get ideas of what people's thoughts are about buying small items like that from overseas see what you guys think mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people make their own cards, that's fine. It's always good to get some input from um, from you guys and see what you think. Oh yeah, I also wanted to mention yesterday I made a bit of a mess up of the link for the painting for yesterday, the little teacup. Um, it's actually available on the website now so um, if anybody's listening and wanted to purchase that then that's now available on there or you can just email me as well so. I'm going to add in a bit of shading now with the brown. It's um, Anita's all purpose acrylic earth brown. It's one I always use for shading.
actually doing this wet in wet so it blends nicely yeah it is it is hard to get people to see your art online it's um very difficult and uh, takes quite some time to build up a following and um, to sell regularly. Yes, yeah, so I haven't had much luck on Society 6. I did try it out and I've got some um, prints on there. But um, I've actually found Zazzle to be more successful for that style of um, selling. But even so, it trickles in. It's not massively successful. So I could do with uh, adding some new stuff to that really. this project has been really successful so I'm very grateful for that oh thank you Vicky yeah still needs quite a bit of work but we're getting there the colours are a little bit off on the camera. They're a bit um a bit darker than they are in real life. Society six. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Old oh, Zazzle, yeah. Zazzle. <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty good one. choose the colours that I'm going to use for the rabbit. Now I'm definitely going to need my Titan buff and my brown but um, let me see I need another kind of brown that's quite dark Right, I've got this light mocha Americana paint, so I'm gonna go in with a layer of that now. I think I'm gonna work upside down for a bit because still a tad wet down the bottom. I'm just really going to build up the layers now and uh, add in lots of detail.
I like this brush because it's got a really pointed end or well, the tip of it is really fine and pointed so you can get in the detail with it as well as covering a bigger area you can see this paint's got slight sort of coffee colour to it which is really nice I really want some sort of ochres, browns to go into this. Just putting in layers to cover up the sketch marks underneath and give us a really good base before putting in the detail. I'm going to be using paint, the acrylic paint and charcoal pencil to do the detail with. I thought this one would be a good one to do because it's different to quite a few of my other paintings which are more smaller landscapes and the animals that I do in them are a lot smaller so they don't have the detail. So this is a bit a bit more detailed than my other pieces. And it's really nice to work on bigger bigger canvas as well. I think I'll leave the tail because I'm gonna do that white. Yeah, we can see them a bit better now. <laughs> that looks a lot better. see what kind of ochres I've got to use. I might play around with some other colours that I don't normally use in my animals just to change things up a bit I've got um, these three different brownie brownie colours there's a uh, cocoa fawn and driftwood so I'll show you from underneath one's a more ochre colour one's more of a light brown and the other one's a sort of grey brown so I think I'll use those with my usual earth brown and some um, Titan buff as well. I'm going to go in and put his tail in, in white. I'm going to need several layers of that to cover up the sketches underneath and the bits that I've gone over. I'll start off with that. Let's 
let's have a quick look at the chat while that's drying. That's really good. Really good that your kids love your work, Ron, and that they, they want to have it to put up. That's really awesome. <laughs> oh, that's great that your family's all supportive. <laughs> Chick2 says the other day she did a little postcard she called The Dark Forest and her daughter saw it and said, I'll let you keep it for a while and then I'll take it okay. <laughs> oh, that's really lovely. <laughs> yeah it can be really tough and craft shows are quite stressful I find um, I really enjoy selling online yeah exactly So Donna's recommending Fine Arts America. That's really good. Yeah. Okay, thanks so much for joining us, Met Wife. Have a good day. Right, I'm now going to uh, dry off this a bit more and then get some detail going. <laughs> to do this in sections because otherwise it's going to dry too quick so I think I'll start with the body I'm going to put some more of the uh, light mocha on to wet the surface and then I'm going to go in with the other colours to add in detail and shading I think I'm going to start with the fawn colour because it's a light, a light brown. It's kind of a bit more on the ochre side, and that will get me started for where I'm going to put the shading. And then we can see, see how we go. So, all this is going to be blended in. So it won't look as harsh as it does when I first put it down. Here's where his arms are. A bit dark down here. The other arm. go back in a bit with the light mocha and use that to blend it in Let's 
see that it's drying pretty quickly so I need to keep making it wet with the other paint We can always lighten areas if they get too dark afterwards. I think I'm going to go in with the more ochre colour which is the cocoa I think I'm going to use that as the main colour and go over here a bit more this will really bring it out and blend that in let's see how this works this is really playing with colour and seeing what works and what doesn't. You ladies still okay over there? You still working on your projects? Just lightening that up a bit with the light mocha, and then I think I'm going to go in with the driftwood and a little bit of brown. I really like this colour, it's a sort of grey brown, it's really nice. just helps to give it a bit more depth earth brown to darken the shadow areas a bit more so a bit more over here where the arms come together a little bit round where the head area is leg mm. 
disentangling away while we watch. Oh, that sounds really relaxing, Donna. Doing good, good. <laughs> Doing my oil pastel and ampersand pastel board. Well, that sounds really nice. That's a good idea, doodling when you don't feel like doing anything else. <laughs> I've been working on another sketchy portrait, well my first sketchy portrait to be honest. Um, I recently joined and um, actually d picked a really, <laughs> I didn't mo obviously mean to, but I picked a really difficult um, sort of angle of pose really um, the girl is sort of looking to the side and her face is sort of three quarter turned so it actually is quite difficult to get the proportions right on that one so I'm taking my time as Dee Dee says and uh, getting that right but um, I'm really loving working with the coloured pencils and doing the um, portraits it's really really good I'm really glad that I uh, saw that demo that she did. That's really fun. Just going to add in some highlights as well. You up here. I'm basically painting like I've sketched it. So normally when I would paint animals I would make it really smooth and blended um, and I am blended as I go which is a bit hard to see the camera's not picking it up as well as I'd like um, but yeah I'm trying to go for a more painterly effect with this with this one give the illusion of the fur Oh, that's great, Vaughn. So you're working on a portrait as well. I see some of you um, join Sketchy, so uh, that's really great. I look forward to seeing what what you draw. Going to use the driftwood for the uh, shading on the little tufty tail in keeping with the colours that I've used and I might add a tad of the brown, the earth brown just to give it a bit more depth drying I'm gonna have a go at the head so I'll try not to smudge what I've done it looks really different on the camera it's a lot rougher than what it is in real life it's a lot more blended than that and the colors are very different it's a lot softer I'm not quite sure if I can change the uh, settings on this because this is a webcam so I don't know if I can adjust it. You'll get the idea at the end anyway, so it'll be good. Okay, so I think I'll go in with the driftwood.
make sure I don't lose the shape there of the head a bit of the fawn colour Okay. I've got quite a bit of paint on there at the moment so I'm going to let that dry a bit before I add anything else I think I'm going to come down and work on the grass a little bit more now Okay, so we had some some grass sticking up out here. Some little tufts here and there. Um, over here, here, and some more tufts sticking up here. my very fine brush and I'm gonna go in with 
I think I'm going to start with the leaf green. Anybody know where Miko is today? I haven't seen her. She's a lovely lady, always helping me out with things. So now I've done that green, I'm going to go in with a bit of brown to darken up a little bit, add in some shadow. Thanks, Juan. Yeah, Miko. Ah, birthday's tomorrow. All right. It's my concentrating voice. <laughs> Trying not to do it wrong on camera. <laughs> white and then I'm going to go over it with the green again just to soften it up and sort of blend in the shadow and highlight. So we'll go with the green, which was the leaf green, which is a darker one than the actual grass, which I did with avocado. Soften that out a bit more. Okay. 
Right, now we'll get back to the bunny and we need to give him a little nose. We need to put the pink in his ear and a little bit of blush on his cheeks. So I'm going to use my pink suede acrylic paint. I need a couple of coats of that and I'm going to put in his cheek so about here one layer for the cheek because I just want it to be a subtle pink whereas the ears will be two or three layers to make them stand out more actually I just realized I can turn my volume up a bit is that better guys or is that too loud Let me know if the volume's okay now. Add in a bit of shading in the ear with the earth brown while it's wet. tiny bit of white as well Okay, now we're ready to put his nose in, so I'm going to need my very small brush. Now, I think I'm going to use my um, I'm going to use my earth brown for that. Make sure I've got enough on my brush. Let's make sure we position this right. So it needs to come down here.
so much for joining us, Donna. Have a good day. And Scratchick. Thanks so much. See you guys later. Just softening in those spots, they were a bit too bold. I think I might need to do those with the charcoal pencil, actually, at the end. Add in a little bit more blush again because I've covered that up a little bit. Finish his nose off now. I think I'm going to add in a little bit of black as well. with my pencil of red put the eye before I go in with the paint make sure I get it in the right place and oh, the eye is quite big finished guys I've just got some detail with a charcoal pencil to add in just finish off his eye Start adding in some detail with the pencil now. 
and that will really bring it to life. Let's put the lids on the paint so I don't knock them all over. Hi Bob, welcome. We're just finishing up. too bad for time. I thought this one was going to be longer because got more detail in this one than my other ones, the smaller ones. It's not Snuggle Bunny, it's just a regular bunny. <laughs> yes, I do. I use a um, spray varnish to uh, seal all my paintings and uh, that keeps it intact. working in a bit different style to what I normally do so I'm working through from a sketch that I did with uh, markers and ink pen so slightly different how I normally do things I'm just going to do some, oh I need to add some shadow here as well actually to uh, ground him so it doesn't look like he's floating in the air.
I'm just going to go in and smudge that out a bit. And I think I'm going to put a bit of shadow where the grasses are coming up at the ground. Give that a bit of ground in as well. lines that I've done. take out a little bit there and a bit round there and I think we're done it looks slightly different to my sketch for those who have come in later this was the original sketch and I was attempting to do something similar um, but in paint because that was in uh, markers and ink pen so it didn't come out too bad <laughs> regular bunny yeah <laughs> oh thank you yeah it's a bit of an experiment but I think it came out alright <laughs> so yeah it's trying to get the colours to show up right because it's Showing up quite dark on there. Let's see if I can move this a bit. So this is on chunky birch plywood canvas, and I'm going to go ahead and paint the sides black, and uh, then you'll be up for sale on my email list tonight. So. Uh, Thank you. I thought you'd gone one. <laughs> oh, was that Dana? Getting confused now. <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone, for joining me, especially as it was a longer show. And um, I hope you'll join me next Tuesday. Um, I should be broadcasting next Tuesday, although I might have to change the day because we're having windows and doors put in on Monday. And so. Um, We'll see if I can get back to normal on the Tuesday in time. <laughs> Thanks, Barb. Yeah, I'm trying to get it so that you can see it a lot better. So hopefully that worked. So I'm going to finish up now because we need to go and finish celebrating Hubby's birthday. So thanks again so much for everyone who joined me today. And uh, thanks for all your art questions and the chit-chat. That's really, really great and helped keep me company. So... Thanks again and I'll see you next week. Bye everyone.